Aw, mom's Aww. doing her hair in the kitchen. That's so nice. They need to stop growing or else I'm not going to be able to help them anymore. I know, you, you are on your tippy toes trying to so. listen to the top. <laughs> <laughs> when he showers at night, when he wakes up in the morning, it's like... Yeah. So he needs a little bit of help. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, like I was saying like yesterday, like <laughs> he needs to comb it till it starts to like actually lay down. Because yeah, he came to school. Wet. He came home from school today, and his hair was like this. But it's wet. You still need to comb. I can't do that. You can't roll your R's. Good morning, clan. Welcome to Thursday here, Phoenix, Arizona. 9 a.m. Thursday, January 18th, 2018. It's currently 48 degrees at this location. Oh yeah. That's that's a brisk that's a brisk 48 degrees right there. Cold, cool deck, you know my feet. The smell of fresh cut grass and cow poop. Jets flying overhead. That's the sound of freedom, as most people would say. To me, that's just the sound of. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. No matter when you're watching this, uh, kids are in school. Tips at the gym. I'm getting ready to go upstairs. Start my daytime stream over at Twitch.tv/Clintus. Uh, playing some Escape from Tarkov. Freaking love that game. Super realistic PC first person MMO shooter. Ah, oh, dude, I don't know. It's, just, it's awesome. I love it. This one though is the one that started it all. Who, who knows what that is? Whoever who played that? Who, who's old school and played that back in the day? Huh? Huh? That's the one that started it all for me at least. I mean, I don't know. I know there were some games before that. Um, Quake, Unreal, Doom. Those are all like. Not before my time, but just they were, they, I never really played them. Man, I cannot wait to get back into this thing. I am really excited for summertime. Looking forward to it, looking forward to it. Thinking about the pool though, it, it just reminded me that we're coming up on our one year anniversary in this house, you guys. Um, I think it was like middle of March is when we moved in. If I remember off the top of my head, it was the middle of March, early March is when we got the keys to the house and, 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 and had our first like sleep in the house with our air mattresses and everything. Um, so I'm getting really excited about that. Um, it's been crazy to think it's been a year already in the house. It's crazy. Time flies for sure. I'm up at Sarah's streaming and Tiffany's getting work done. She's completely moved the furniture out so she can fix the rug. I think she's probably cleaning it again too, but she vacuumed the rug and uh, getting it all flattened out. Because of this doggy puking everywhere. Huh. Huh. Yeah. And just like that, living room is back to normal. Ta -da! But the rug's all clean, vacuumed. Clean is gonna get. We need a steamer. steamer. <laughs> Another early dinner. Sierra's got volleyball scrimmage. No, those are cordon bleu. Yeah, stuffed stuffed chicken breasts. Oh yeah, there's three different kinds. Mac and cheese, some green beans. Wait, so there's three different kinds. Oh, Sierra. Third day in a row, right from school, right to dinner. You can it's get used to this, life. huh? It's our new life, yeah. Weekday life. It smells good. Oh so, gosh. I think chicken parmesan, bacon club, and apple and brie. And what is Ooh. this? Same, two, and, two each. Oh, three. Oh, oh, oh. One of each. Chicken. Nice. 
it is. There it is. There it is. There you go. There we go. All right. We'll take it. Nice serve. Nice serve. Tip, tip, tip. Ah, oh, good try, Sierra. Good try. All right, guys, we're back home. That was an awesome, awesome uh, scrimmage. How many games did they play? Four? Five. Four? Four, Four games. Uh, that was the 15s open team. If you guys know anything about volleyball, that's open teams are always like the top, top of the, of the, of the, um, of that age bracket. And uh, they're a really good team. Really good team. Good girls, good coaching. Um, and so it was definitely cool to see our girls compete with them. Um, they unfortunately lost every game. Realistically, come on, 13's Nationals versus a 15's Open, but each game they scored more points than the previous one. Up until the last game where they lost 25-19. So it was a close game, they actually had a lead for a while. Sierra has a volleyball tournament this weekend, uh, and so thankfully, thankfully, it worked out where Bryce's basketball league play is in Chandler in the morning, or afternoon, and Sierra's tournament is in Chandler in the afternoon. So we're a pack up, we only have to take one car. We're gonna go out to Bryce's league basketball game and then drive a little bit further, uh, come back a little bit to the west, uh, but west Chandler to play Watch Sierra. So I'm excited. And I think both my parents are gonna be there. Uh, the Bevos, me and my papa. So Sierra will have a big uh, big audience. We were just doing the, uh, the math and it looks like t baby's uh, little pillow will go off this weekend. Cause uh, it's been two, it's been what, two weeks today? No. No? It was Thursday, right? A week and two days. So I said get her through this weekend. So like probably. Oh, did it happen on Tuesday? It happened on Tuesday. You're right. I'm sorry. It happened on Tuesday. I'm thinking it was happening on Thursday. Yeah. But she's back to herself. She's totally back to normal. She's a stinky girl. She needs a bath. She needs a bath. That's for sure. That'll happen this weekend too. And <laughs> you love baths, don't you, baby? Yeah. <laughs> and this kid is super excited for the all new Fortnite update, new map. We're at Tilted Towers. There's like a million gazillion people here. Million gazillion? Yeah, like that's a lot, a lot, right? That's a lot. Yeah, he was so excited to get home and play this. Try it out. Million gazillion. Watch out for the trap. There he is. Get him, Bryce. Get him, Bryce. Get him, dude. Oh, get wrecked. Get wrecked, nerd. Well, I didn't end up streaming tonight. Um, I did go upstairs though and play some Fortnite with um, Sierra and Bryce. It's really nice that I can play on my PC, they can play on their PlayStations, we can all play together. So it was really fun. Um, trying out the new map. The new map is really cool. If you guys play Fortnite, you should check it out. It's free. Just check it out. Um, but uh, update on the truck. A lot of you guys asked about the truck. Um, I hadn't find anything. I, last night after I hosed it off, or was it Tuesday? Two days ago. Wow, I completely forgot. Yeah, it was two days ago. Two days ago um, when I hosed it all off. Yesterday, I let it, uh, I let it stay out all night, outside all night. Um, and all day today. Didn't smell anything like outside. Obviously it's outside, there's fresh air and everything. But um, tonight after the practice, I did put it in the garage. So we're gonna do a quick test and see if there's any odor coming from the truck in the garage. Here we go. Yeah, there's still an odor. So there's still a thing. Now, now some of you guys said you guys could see it in the video. Um, so we're gonna go back, I'm gonna watch it real quick because it's I can still smell something. Um, but some of you guys said you could see it at seven minutes and 50 seconds of uh, that video. So I'm gonna pull up that video real quick. I'm gonna see if I can see what you guys were seeing and if, see if A, it is the, the rodent or B, it's something that looks like the rodent. You guys just were seeing things, we'll see. All right, so I'm back and looking at the video. What you guys were calling out was when we were looking at this area right here and that's where I found like the, the rat poop and the like, yellow liquid, I don't know what that is, if that was like where the body was sitting 
or if that's where he peed. I'm thinking that's where the body actually died. And then driving home, it fell. Um, I crawled underneath, back underneath here again, stuck my nose up into the little holes, didn't really smell the smell. I'm smelling it up here on the top. So I'm thinking, it's not the air box, the air box is right here, that's sealed. Um, it's either like in like where the lights are, like right in here, which is a little, little pocket right here that's kind of like folded back, but he might be in there. Or he's like lodged underneath one of these things. Um, again, my thoughts are it's nothing like he didn't crawl into anything. I think he died right here in this corner because this corner had like a bunch of rat poop and like this yellow liquid that was like almost like not solid, but like it had like gelled up a little bit. I'm thinking that's like his like body fluids like pfft, oozing out. He probably crawled in here, died, and then you know, ba started baking basically. Uh, and then when I drove home, his body fell. So it's like in here somewhere. I don't think it's on the skid plate because the skid plate's on the bottom and the smell is coming from the top. If I, if I go down here and smell, I don't smell as much. If I come up here, it's right here, it's really bad. But it's also, it's not as bad as it was two days ago. So the smell is also going away. So if I don't find it, I think eventually it'll just won't smell anymore. <laughs> but I'll just have a dead, you know, mouse corpse in here. Uh, some of you guys were saying to take this off. Again, I come over here, I don't really smell it. If I go over here, it's really bad, right here. So he's, he's dead somewhere down in here. But um, I do appreciate all the, um, all the advice I asked you guys for leaving comments, I appreciate that. Um, I didn't get a chance to talk to my dad yet. So yeah, this, the, the, the mouse hunt continues. I will uh, give it another go tomorrow. Maybe we can get in there and see if we can figure something else out. But uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the support. I will see you guys tomorrow for Friday fun day. Let's log on. Mm -hmm.